Hello there, welcome. Today we're having a look at Zen, one of the new Mistvale heroes, and we're playing against Olympia, a hero that also got support in a new set. Um, Zen, quite surprisingly to me, might actually be S tier in the upcoming um, season. And in that game alone, I've done some uh, quite quite some um, disgusting things, so it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, we're starting out with a quite a nice hand here. I just want to filter one of the Art of Wars, because one is uh, more than enough for us to have here. In general, against Olympia, I want to set up bigger hands, because if they're running Decimator Great X, they're usually very defensive. Um, while I'm saying that, we are going to get attacked with a, <laughs> a small 10 here, uh, wagered uh, with some tokens as well. That, of course, is something that Olympia can do. Um, I do like our hand here, um, and I do like it as much as, as so that I am actually willing to take the 10 here, I think. I might, actually, I want to pop the boots because there's a nice interaction with Art of War here. You can actually banish the Crouching Tigers with Art of War and just draw two more cards. So we're definitely going to do that. Then we have a nice um, starter with the 100 wins in our arsenal. We can follow that up with Aspect of Tiger. Get a Crouching Tiger in our Banish Zone, and then we'll see what we draw off of the Art of War. Of course, it's scary to go down to 31 in turn 1, but you gotta remember that Olympia with the Great X can't really push too much damage quickly. And it's more important for us to capitalize on the good hands we draw. Um, okay, so we draw into another blue card as well, which is very nice. Now we can actually play Levels of Enlightenment, and while it's on the stack, we uh, trigger Path Well Traveled, and then we use the Chi that we get. But first of all, we play the Aspect of Tiger, get a Crouching Tiger in our Banish Zone. That will come in very nicely for one with the Art of War, because it also buffs the Tigers, and then with the Tiger Swipe as well. Now, against Zen, it's kind of similar to Katsu, where you really got to know what kind of cards you need to block and how. Um, because at this point, Olympia should really respect the possibility of us having Tiger Swipe. And at least keep those, I think, five or six um, values of block around. So what we are doing right now is while Levels of Enlightenment wants to go on the combat chain, we are playing our Transcend card. Let's see the blue card flips to Chi, then we, before levels, gets into the combat chain, pitch the Chi into Zen, and now we get another crouching target in our hand, and we are allowed to search for a combo card out of our deck, and if we don't have a turn finisher yet, Mauling Key is very, very strong, it's a 1 for 5 with on hit and extra damage if crouching tiger was the last attack, uh, so we definitely go for that, I think with the resources we have, that should work out as well, we will miss out on our weapon attack. I think that is fine. And the levels of enlightenment drew us into another into another red attack action. Okay, um the enemy undid here, so we're doing that again. Um we don't have to give it go again, it gets that from the transcend card. Oh and now see Olympia basically taps out of hand cards so we probably won't be able to block the Tiger Swipe. Um, we could get it up to no, it's yeah, up to six if we use the Tiger Stripe Shuko for it. Um, Tiger Stripe Shuko will just buff the second attack with base two or less, I believe. Um, but I feel like it. Hmm. <clears throat> See, the Tiger Swipe give, gives us back as many Crouching Tigers as we played before it. So, okay, very nice. If we greed for it and Olympia decides to give us some armor here, then we can actually come in with it for five and still get the on hit. Nice, so we get two more Crouching Tigers. That, yeah, right, we should play the red one before that. So we get another Crouching Tiger. Each of them will be buffed by the Art of War. And then we can finish all of that up with the Mauling Key as well. That's exactly... That a kind of turn that we need here. We've also flipped one transcend card, so we have that energy in our deck now for the for the headpiece.
Okay. And they don't have a hand <laughs> down to 21. So <laughs> we just did. I mean, we did 19 damage, but they blocked, I believe, 12, 13, 15. Wait, did they block 17 plus 12? Did they block 29 and we did 19 damage? <laughs> um, well, no, they blocked they blocked 17 and we did 19. Okay, so that's that's the way. 36 damage, is that possible? Wow, okay. I maybe Zen might be just a little strong right now. Okay, let's see. With the hand we got currently, um, we are not able to make any crouching tigers, so I'm pitching that Molen key away. Um, so we're allowed to search for it later. And then I will just put the tiger swipe in our arsenal. We're still also, because we, we were playing against the defensive deck, Zen has another um, advantage that Katsu, well, Katsu has it sort of with the, with the Kodachis, right? But Zen especially has so many breakpoint attacks. It's not only the the surging strikes and Kodachis, it's all these tiger attacks for four, the crouching tigers themselves for one, the weapon for two. Hmm. I think right now I'm still not willing to, to log anything. I just want to play big hands. It more so becomes the question how greedy we want to be. Should we use the Ancestral Harmony for pitching or should we play it out? And Olympia is using his headpiece here. Mm, he will get two gold off, the, off of that. Oh, and his specialization. That unfortunately won't do much for him if he doesn't pitch a blue for it. But that's fine by us. Now, Olympia got this new card in Mistvale. The uh, something visit the Golden Anvil or, also. And can pay one gold. Um, or rather, he can... As much gold as he pays, he can replace equipment. Or get new equipment in the arena for. So right now he already got rid of his headpiece. If he gets rid of his um, boots as well, he'll be able to get a new headpiece and new boots into the arena for just two gold. Which of course uh, can be really strong. If he gets another battle one two on the on the priced Galia in there, maybe another one block on the bolters. That's very good. Also he could have started with another um, pair of hands. The Courage of Bladehold, I believe. No, wait. There's some, some Courage thingy that has two and Temper. So that gets destroyed after blocking twice. And then he can get the Brave Forge Bracers in after that. So there's the possibility of getting a lot more block um, for his game. In the meantime, we're just playing down our hand here very efficiently. Basically force him to block the tiger swipe here. Or oh, actually we don't if we're being honest. Because the tigers aren't buffed. That we would get back. And now if he doesn't have any hand cards. Uh, we could have pushed two more damage there. But. I'd rather keep the option open of. Drawing into a nice hand here. Where the blue starter would have been very good. Um. Now what to do with that hand. Keeping Orion in, in the arsenal is potentially very good. We are still missing out on quite a few transcend cards here. So I might just use that turn as another setup one. And we can still come in with all those nasty breakpoints on the 100 wins after playing our weapon here. If you transcend with Zen, your chest piece will give you an extra resource. So then we can just pitch one of our cheese into this book we have in our hand and draw three more cards. It's quite insane. Of course, you then need to be on the better side of variants and actually draw meaningful, meaningful cards and not just chain enders or not just blues. Okay, we get an attack. No, no, AD react out of him, which is always nice.
And now, well, it's a full blue hand, right? But for one, we can actually make that a wind chakra um, buff for three, which is similar to a red card. And the other thing is that we are able to draw into more cards with the book we have in our arsenal. Now, it's important also to mention that we can't just play drop in the ocean here without a target to give minus one to. Mm, but again, we can react to the wind chakra with the other transcend card we have. And now we have one floating. We have the chi in our hand. And we draw into three more cards. Very nice. All red. Though we are still... We still have to make a tiger somehow to... Well, we don't have to, I guess. We don't need to activate the breed anger. We can just start off with the spinning wheel kick into aspect of tiger. Ideally, we just get a direct from him, from him here. Then we can just play drop on the ocean onto our own attack and get the transcend there. And with that chi, we would activate Zen. To what would we fetch out? I think we would fetch out another Mauling key here. Then we can go white once again. The, the next tiger will already come in for three. And then we have three after that from Asp Aspect of Tiger. We have another four from Breed Anger. And then at least five from Mauling key. Nice, so we do get a D-React, we just play drop in the ocean, give spinning weak kick minus one, which doesn't matter anymore. We get an extra resource from the chest again. Right, and we just once again take that turn turn ender. That also forces blocks or gets a, an on-hit through. We make another Crouching Tiger, which we can't really get use out of. I mean, well, okay, two Crouching Tigers will get us the Tiger Stripe on hit. Not on hit, um, rather the buff. Okay, and Olympia... Still has two cards in hand, so we might just keep them for our mauling key. Otherwise, that will once again do six damage on a one cost. And we also still have our headpiece up, so whenever we draw into another very nice hand, we can just, you know, fetch a chi, which is either a blue pitch or a tutor for, an, for any card we would want. And it seems like our mauling key will actually hit. We, it's important here to play the tiger out of the banish zone and not the one from hand because that we can just arsenal. And now we're sitting quite comfortably with the life lead here. And quite a few more power cards in deck. Okay, not the best hand, not the best hand. Just keeping out on the pressure though. And well, in, in opposite to Katsu here, we still seems like every hand can just present at least three chain links that deal some damage because there are so many go again cards in this deck and it's also not like you you've got to keep these, these very important six power cards around like the bonds and katsu and otherwise you just can't do anything um it seems like you have way more lines available to you that are threatening um, speaking about bonds, we also have them <laughs> in this deck, and I don't think we've seen one yet, so we might want to keep that gust wave around in our arsenal to set one up. Oh well, now we draw one in, one in, uh, two in one hand. Hmm. It might be interesting to fetch out just the the chief or the blue pitch here. Otherwise, we could... Hmm. Of course, we could pitch the Art of War. And then get a second Gust Wave with the first Bonds of Ancestry. 
Of course, I'd rather just, you know, play the Art of War out and then go for the double bonds. It's important to keep in mind that Traverse the Universe, our headpiece, only works if we already have a Chi in our deck. Uh, I sure made this mistake in the beginning. Oh, and now Olympia is actually using uh, his new specialization. He will equip a another headpiece and another pair of legs now. Oh, balance. That's very strong, especially now that we plan to play out of war. Ah, we're just gonna throw it anyway. Now, what should we get? We could get the second gust wave but i don't think we have a bonds and right we don't have a bonds and graveyard yet so we can't play a triple bonds um what kind of stuff will we have floating i believe we won't actually have anything floating um i uh, unless we draw into another blue i guess uh, which is quite possible hmm oh it's to be fair it's hard to say i've not played enough it's actually my first game of Zen, so <laughs> there there might be a very cool line here. Which I'm not oh also that is that isn't correct. <laughs> I can just banish the tiger. Oh, oh no. What Ah no, never mind. That was for the pitch. Oh okay, no, no. Right, I'm I forgot. I used the energy for Zen of course, and then I don't have anything floating, so I need to pitch the bonds. And I've searched for a second bonds. Now, do I even have a gust with in my grave yet? That would be um, unfortunate <laughs> if we weren't able to play that second Bonds of Ancestry now. Surely we do have, surely we do have one. Okay, Olympia popping this headpiece now, very nice for him. Uh, well, uh, we don't. Okay, we don't have a Descendant Gust with our Grave, but I guess we'll make the best of it. Um, we could go for the Spinning Wheel Kick, right? We have two floating, but then we could not use the Tiger Incantation in our arsenal. So maybe we just go for an Aspect of Tiger. Um, well, really, if you do the math, that, that surely there's some like difference here. So Aspect of Tiger should be better than 100 wins because it gives us an extra Tiger, which gets buffed by the Art of War as well. Um, right, Tiger Swipe also ain't too bad. Uh, oh, actually it is bad because we don't have a Tiger yet. <laughs> and, um, bonds will only allow us to play the Tiger Swipe while we're still in that chain. And Tiger Form Incantation would break the chain. Okay, so at the at the end of this game, I'm just doing mistake over mistake. Um. We're still winning, I'm, I'm sure of it. Because then it's just too busted as it seems. But yeah, that was that was clearly the worst um, combo card to, to fetch out here. Too many options. I'm not used to it as a Katsu player. Now we just, I don't know, play the incantation from our arsenal. Play the tiger afterwards for four. And then we're still good. We still just Arsenal bonds and we'll see where it takes us. Ah, okay, never mind. Oh, I'll just play it now. Sure, why not? Hmm, that's a lot of blues. We can just grab a descendant this time with a Zen's ability. Mm, we should make sure to play, play out the incantation first this time. And then it can just become descendant and bonds. And maybe get another Morlin key or whatever. Oh, we're getting hit by, by Warmongers, so no incantation for us this time. Now we should be able to go for a double bonds though. No. No, we're still not. We are still not. Well then, just some. Oh, 
Zen decided, uh, no wait, Olympia decided it doesn't make any sense anymore. But we could have gone for Descendant pay one, Bonds afterwards. Um, I guess get a Mauling key, then use the grains, flip them. We could also use the Sturdy Pot, flip it. So we have more than enough resources to also pay into our weapon. Attack with the Tiger for one, and then afterwards coming with the Mauling key. Uh, again, very many breakpoints and yeah at, at some point the olympia just dies because they can't block out those breakpoints sort of becomes similar to the kodachi lock but in my opinion just a little worse even um yeah well i'm looking to to play a bit of katsu as well uh but seems like zen is just also very interesting yeah but anyway um hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time